Prima Maria, DSOOB. From your thoughts I only felt the cold from the snow. From your childhood. I also felt that some older boy kicked in and you were lying. I also felt you made your first sex freak out. And you ran away. I know other thoughts, but I didn't feel that much. I don't understand much. What do you need these stars for? What do you need those geometric lines in your head for? What have you got there? Not Skaplato or the whole Euclid? And I felt exactly like you were drinking vodka. Even a pleasant feeling. But what does that change? We're still trapped. And I have no idea why dad sent me to you today and now. Why today? Get some sleep on that sandwich. We'll make ourselves some food. Tomorrow we'll just ask him in words. Looks at me. Is looking at. He knows what I'm thinking and stares. Why don't you like a girl like me? She asked. But you know. I grunted. I have a fat ass, right? Yes. And the neck? Too. And am I dressed badly? Oh, I don't like that. You don't know what you like. I can see it clearly. I also see that you will be sick and I will heal you. Still, your ass is too big. Let me tell you something, Maria. If you're going to be my wife in the future, give me a rock and chase guys your age, at nightclubs, at pinata, and have fun. And for these few years, I got things done. And tomorrow we'll go to Elmich, okay? Okay, you alien. She said suddenly as if she had been offended by my behavior. We ate peas and corn pancakes. I fell asleep first and woke up in the middle of the night. There was a succubus in the corner of the room. He was only alone. Maria was asleep curled up on the sandwich. The fan was grinding the air. The succubus put something on the table and climbed into the wall. I fell asleep and dreamed that I was blonde and I was eating Swiss cheese with holes through which I see the world. In my dream, a light came up to me, but it was neither person nor saying anything to me. It was a physical power or strength that pushed me towards where I wanted to go anyway. Someone was tugging on my arm. So abruptly, I woke up and she kept jerking me on. What's the matter with you? What's wrong? She screamed at me in the dark. I saw Maria standing over me, trembling. Actually, she was mad at me. I do not know what happened, I replied. Why are you waking me up? Then I felt blood trickling from my nose and mouth. The whole pillow was covered in blood and I was smeared with it and I had to scare the girl. I went to the mirror. I saw that I was biting my tongue and lips in my sleep. Maria was sitting terrified in the corner of the room on an armchair. She had already seen my dream. And all my thoughts. She put on jeans and chewed gum. Defense reflex. I'll call my father. She said softly. We can't solve it ourselves. Do not call. I said calmly. We both looked at the stone on the table. We sat like this until dawn. She was too young for such night adventures. At her age, she goes on dates, not having thought sessions with some weird European guys. El Maiko hasn't called for his daughter so far. Maybe she thinks I went to bed with her? And you want to go to bed with me, clown? Maria said suddenly. Since I'm going to be your wife anyway, at least you can't hide from me when those stupid thoughts about other women start jumping around in your head. Corresponds? Well, yes, now, it's all over, I groaned. And I don't want to hear that I have a big ass. What about this Raphael or what is it, I asked teasing. I'll deal with him later when I find out what kind of stallion you are. After all, I'm 16. Bring hydrogen peroxide because I have to disinfect my bites, I said. My mouth was swollen and my tongue was like a piece of meat. Well, now it is playing the sick, she pouted, loosening the braids, he wanted to figure out the problem and bit his tongue. She hissed maliciously. She was clearly getting ready for me. She knew what I was thinking, and it lost me. I liked how the waterfall of black hair fell over her face, so now she teased me with it every now and then. As soon as I thought about her breasts, she immediately pushed a cleavage close to my face, preoccupied with rum disinfecting my wounds. I know you know. She said coquettishly. You're too young. Maria, come on. I could be your father. El Maiko is younger than me, Maria. We have seen who is an old woman and who is a young man, she gave me an answer, and she was right. True to to to, to be continued, now, at www.kubi.pl you can read it in 90 languages. And earn money by improving translations.